Friday, Yes premiered a special look at the newest baseball team in New York City, the Staten Island Ferry Hawks of the Athletic League. Their roster features Kelsey Whitmore, a member of Team USA and one of the first women to sign a contract with a professional league that is affiliated with MLB. Kelsey joins us now. Kelsey, thanks for visiting with us. Now that the season is off and running, what has your Atlantic League experience been like so far? Has it been as you expected? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been it's a bit pretty exciting uh, having all the, you know, fans in the in the stands and uh, being able to see uh, players uh, across the team that that have played at affiliated levels and, and even some former major league uh, players and just kind of being around this environment, this competitive environment. So, um, you know, it feels right. At the end of the day, it's baseball, and it feels right. And uh, it was it's a uh, it's pretty uh, cool experience right now. So for people that are just getting to meet you now, take us through your pitch arsenal. I have to say, when we spoke last week, it's mighty impressive. <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I go four-seam, four-seam fastball. I got a, got a knuckle curve. I got, like, this uh, knuckle change as well. Um, moves almost like a, like a splitter um, type, type deal. Um, it has, like some some like negative vertical break to it um and then i got working with a slider right now and so kind of kind of mixing up different working different change-ups right now messing around with some uh different curve balls right now but uh for the most part uh that's kind of like what i'm working on uh ball has a little bit of of run in sometimes uh, depending on my arm slot and and whatnot if i could get some 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 positive uh vertical break to it but um but yeah no that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm working with and trying to just have command and compete each pitch against uh every batter now you mentioned that knuckleball and you've met with some pretty impressive past major leaguers to work with that I have. Um, I actually, yeah, for a while I was working, I was working with the, you know, when you, when you grow up and you don't know where you're going to be in this game and you want to get to the next level, you think you have to do a bunch of different things. And there was one point in my life I was like, oh, maybe I need to be a knuckleball pitcher. So I was doing that kind of stuff for a while. It was, uh, where I like had a workout with Phil Negro, um, and uh in jordan i think it was in atlanta and um you know chris nolan i have i've worked with him a little bit i've, I've talked a little bit to uh ari dickey and so um just kind of stuff like that messing around with that but um it's a whole different pitch now it's it's not really even a knuckleball now it's more uh i grip it like a knuckleball but my mindset's change up so um and that's the that's the beautiful part about baseball is you can really work with so many different grips and um have different mindsets into your pitch uh, arsenal and kind of mess around with whatever works for you. And so that's kind of kind of been my path right now is trying to see what works for me, what's best for me with the body I have and the, the mindset I have and whatever I got. And who you are is a trailblazer. Even if that's not the focus, it is the truth. How do you approach the knowing that eyes are on you as a female in baseball? I mean, for the most part, it's... And I'm, I'm I'm very very honored to be here. Very thankful to be given these opportunities, and I just want to do the best that I possibly can to um, to be able to be someone that that can hopefully you know inspire, motivate younger a younger girl, or not even that, just like other athletes. Um, and so, I mean, I'm I'm here to just work hard, be humble, and get after it any way I can. So that's my that's my mindset, and it's gonna only stay that way. What are your goals for the season? Are you the type that sets personal goals? I definitely am. I definitely am type that sets personal goals. Um, I think, I think I want to, the biggest thing for me is to grow as much as I can to learn as much as I can. But then also, um, I want to put up good numbers, you know, I want to put up good numbers, um, as, a, as, as, as I'm competing on the mound, I want to be able to get out. I want to be able to, um, you know, have scoreless innings and, you know, uh, be able to get after it any way I can and ha have good numbers hopefully can get me moving up um, up in, in a higher league so um, just like any other guy like the goal is to show well and to do well and to be the best version of myself I can on that field and and uh, to keep com to keep competing and, and get to the next level outstanding you are clearly an inspiration thanks for visiting with us and there are a lot of people cheering for you thank you appreciate it see you soon
Well, the Ferry Hawks began their debut season a few days ago, but their home opener is going to take place on May 3rd, and we are going to carry the action exclusively on the Yes app. If you want to purchase tickets in order to be there live, visit FerryHawks.com. And don't forget to follow the team on social media, too.